Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Street Tips here. It's been a while since I've had my face on camera. You know, one of my viewers requested that, so here I am. And today, what we're going to be doing is harvesting the silver out of silver cell number one. But before we get to that, I want to check the output on these power supplies with the multimeter. Here's my meter. I'm going to set this thing to 20 volts, alternating current goes down to zero now I'm gonna plug these leads into the power supply on the HP you see it jumps up for a second it doesn't go all the way back down to zero well yeah it does there we go zero and now for the other power supply over here jumps up doesn't go back to zero it goes back to like that back to zero so I got no alternating current showing on the poles of either of these power supplies let's turn the power off on cell number one get the anode basket out of here I found it the best way to clean this thing out, easiest and quickest way to do it. You take a piece of paper towel and run it through here and wipe all the uh, silver that's still adhering to the bowl. And then I take the piece of paper and put it in my paper storage. Next, I use a piece of Brillo pad here and get the rest of the silver stick into the bowl off of here and then I rinse it out with some still water and then we'll just let this air dry it's ready for its next use got some electrolyte on it and so we'll pour that into this jar here because we're gonna get the silver out of this electrolyte 
I'm going to rinse with some distilled water. And what we'll do is pour this initial rinse off into the uh, jar here because it's still going to have some electrolyte on it. Good Lord, look at all that, man. This is going to be a huge harvest, I'm going to tell you right now. Now we can move this electrolyte out of the way. Set it over here in the fume hood and I've got a nice surprise over there for you. I've got a piece of clean copper here. And what we're, we'll do is uh, insert it into our, uh, into our electrolyte here. And we're gonna cement the silver out of our electrolyte. Here you can see there's not very much silver left in that electrolyte. I started out with 800 grams of silver, 600 for the first run, an additional 200 for the second run. And this shows that uh, how much silver gets depleted out of that electrolyte during the cell run. And that's why I never use it more than twice. This is a ton of silver. It's all from the... Uh, Silver cell number one, that thing ran for about, I guess, uh, a little over two weeks. But that's too much for me to try to rinse in a single beaker, so I'm going to have to split this up. So what we'll do is uh, divide this up between two beakers so I can rinse it properly. I guess we can pour that water off in the silver bucket down here this is just some rinse water this is cement silver down here in this bucket split up between two beakers we should be able to do a rinse now this is my cement silver bucket there's about five kilos of cement silver in there and what I do is I add my silver solutions to that bucket and put copper in there and then cement the silver out okay here's the rinses this is rinse number one two three Four, number five. Usually takes about six rinses to get all that uh, electrolyte off of there. Here's number six, number seven. Had to get my gloves on, and number eight. Now we switch beakers. Begin the rinsing on the second beaker. That's one two three cold water cold distilled water four and now we're going to switch to hot water five hot distilled water six seven and then eight I think we've got at least seven, maybe eight rinses on both of these. It only takes about six to get all the electrolyte off. So just for good measure, I'm adding one last hot water rinse to each one of these. Now what we'll do is transfer the uh, silver it's one of these Corningware dishes so we can dry it off. Let's go ahead and pour this in here. This is our pure silver crystal from Silver Cell number one.
the rest of the silver in here will dry and fall off as the uh, ambient heat dries it out it'll fall to the bottom and I'll just add it to the rest of the crystal but for now let's take this over and put it in the fume hood here here just this thing this is our cement silver from our electrolyte push that back out of the way we're gonna put this now up on some low heat and allow this to evaporate This is our electrolyte. It's pure silver. 600 grams of pure silver dissolved in uh, nitric acid. Now we'll add some distilled water to within a half an inch of the uh, rim of the stainless steel bowl. The stainless steel bowl is the cathode. Here's our freshly prepared anode filter basket. It's just a food cup with a Dacron vacuum cleaner filter bag in it. This is the last of the silver shot from this container. I'm going to add that in and now we'll add this silver shot in. This is a little dirtier than the other. It's not quite as clean as the other shot was. So it's going to have a tendency to clog this filter up uh, sooner as the cell operates. I've never done this before. Let's get a weight on one of these uh, anode filter baskets that's full. I'm going to say the cup is probably 30 grams. So we got 400 grams of impure silver shot in this anode filter basket. Now let's drop our anode filter basket with the uh, impure shot down into the cell and let that start soaking in through that Dacron filter bag. Here's what it looks like down in the cell before we've uh, energized the power supply. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, anode electrode bar into the uh, impure silver shot up here. Silver cell is reassembled. Now what we'll do is uh, fire up this power supply. See what kind of current flow we're drawing. 3.5 volts, half an amp of current flow. Current flow will increase as the electrolyte seeps through the uh, cloth filter and makes contact with the impure silver. Here you can see the electrolyte is soaked into the anode filter and we're drawing 2.5 amps now on cell number one. So cell number one has been placed back in operation. If you look down there, you can see some tiny, tiny silver crystals beginning to form. Uh, let's take a look. See that anode filter is brand new, so it's not clogged up yet with slimes. So that's why we got a high current flow through there now. Let's look down in here and see what this is looking like. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. This is cell number two, just full of silver. It's only been running about five days. Wow, this one might be ready to harvest well ahead of its time. I think our pure silver crystal from cell number one is dry now. Look at that man. 
That is absolutely stunning to look at. High purity, three nines fine or better. Pure silver crystal in there. I moved with a three amp inline fuse to the Hewlett Packard power supply that's powering silver cell number two because we're getting awfully close to this anode basket and I do not want to uh, short it out and ruin that patch of silver man that would be a uh, a travesty we're gonna add some more impure silver in here zero. I'm going to pour the silver crystal in here now and we're going to get a weight on this silver that we just harvested from silver cell number one. Oh my, look at that. Over two kilos of pure silver from silver cell number one. 2.3 kilos that's a lot of silver man look at that and it's just beautiful really something to look at all right this will conclude uh, the harvest of the silver from silver cell number one video we demonstrated how to harvest the silver and how to reset and get running the silver cell again with all new filter and a new electrolyte. And so this will conclude the video. Thank you for watching.